Hey friends, welcome back to Living It Country. Today I have my friend Joe Beth taking over Living It Country today from JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle, and she is sharing her beautiful home for the Christmas season. Her home is filled with beautiful thrifty finds, garage sale finds, new finds, mama junks finds, and you guys are gonna get so inspired by her today. Hey friends, how are you? I'm Joe Beth at JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle. I'm super excited to be here for this amazing Christmas tour here at Living It Country. Make sure that you subscribe to her channel and check mine out at JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle. It's linked below. Let's get started. Hey friends, we have a lot of rooms to cover and I'm going to show you every single detail, but the main thing about this Christmas tour is that um, I want to inspire you all to you know, bring your home to life, bring the good energy into your space because we are living a crazy world right now. And um, the best we can do for ourselves is to walk into our home and feel super good and grounded about it. So let's get started. All right, friends. So we are starting off with this front room. Um, so this is our sitting room. It's kind of like our formal sitting room. Me and Joe spend a lot of time in here on the weekends, drinking coffee, listening to music. And um, I did a lot of Christmas neutrals, like a very neutral Christmas in this space. We went with a flocked tree. I did a lot of greens. I'm gonna get a close up for you guys on this. Um, but we went with golds and just glitters and blacks, the little star on top. And we featured these doors with two green wreaths, but then we did a lot of layering here on this cabinet. Um, so I just really love how the room flows and how we have all these little winter elements in here. It's not too much. It's simple, but it's cozy. Right, I want to welcome you to my formal dining room. We don't spend much time in this dining room, but boy does it make me feel good when I walk through those doors. So you're going to see a lot of natural greens, dried live stems. Um, I added a lot of that into this year's Christmas decor because I don't know, Mother Nature just inspired me this year. So I foraged a lot of the greenery that you see here, the sticks, um, the different grasses and um, a lot of it was from fall and then I just added some of the green stems to winterize it. So, oh, there's my little puppy. So let's take a closer look at this dining room table. All right, so the dining room table has faux greens in the middle and I intertwined all of the faux greens in with these amazing brass lanterns that I found at Home Goods. Um, I love layering plates. So you can see I just added some of those little faux stems in the napkin ring. Um, and as I was saying, I added a lot of real dried eucalyptus that I find at Trader Joe's or Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna have a couple antlers in there as well just to finish that winter touch. But oh, I just really, really love how my winter Christmas tablescape turned out this year. All right, so this wall, as soon as you walk in, also has the shiplap in it, on it um, that me and Joe installed. And so I have this console table where, again, I added a lot of the real eucalyptus. You can see that this is all dried eucalyptus. It smells so refreshing. It's super grounding. And they say that it's good for protecting the home. Um, so that's why I just filled my home because, um, you know, we all need a little extra protection with the way that the world is right now. So bringing all of these natural elements, bringing the outside inside 
is really, that was my goal this year for Christmas, um, especially since we are spending so much time inside. All right, friends, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why does she have a tree on the table? <laughs> Listen, it's outside the box. And that's what I encourage you guys to do, okay? Be outside the box and decorate your home and do what feels right. Don't do that cookie cutter look this year. Do something different and put your tree on a table. It gives it hype and it makes it feel like Macy's. Not gonna lie. All right, so let's take a closer look at all of the gorgeous Christmas. Did you just see that? Yeah, that's real world up there. <laughs> all right, so this wreath, this wreath, check out this wreath, guys. Remember, I told you I am bringing the outside inside with a lot of natural elements. So this is two wreaths doubled up. Um, I made the wreath in the front. And then all I did was connect it to a winter wreath or winter green wreath on the back. So something for you guys to think about. On our Christmas tree this year, I went with a lot of greens. I went with this emerald ball, like, oh, look at that. Oh my God, look at how gorgeous that is. Lots of glass, a little army green, um, lots of natural wood elements. All I know is it's bomb dot Calm. It's large and it's char in charge, and I absolutely love it. about this gorgeous centerpiece in the middle of my coffee table. So what I did is I just had my summer spring greens in there. And what I did is I just added some winter greens, as you can see, and then a whole lot of potpourri, I guess you would call this, like just different textures and colors of greens. Um, you see, I did not go with the traditional Christmas this year. I added some pinks, I added some velvet. Um, I'm so, so pleased with it though. Do you guys like it? All right, friends, next we're gonna check out the kitchen where some serious cooking goes down. I love cooking healthy foods for my family. It just fills my soul and I love sharing it. So I'm always sharing it in stories on Instagram. If you guys ever need you know, some cooking tips, I got them for you. But let's check out my kitchen next and see what kind of Christmas touches I've brought into the kitchen space. All right, so this is the open concept kitchen. It's, we definitely fell in love with this kitchen space when we first walked into the home. Uh, recently, we've changed the pendants and the hardware on all of the cabinets to that beautiful brass color um, that's so in right now. And we got some new bar stools. So just those little touches can really transform the kitchen. Now look at this, look at the light come in. I mean, we are just obsessed with this sunroom. This is where we spend the majority of the time. We eat our dinner here, we do homework here, homeschooling, oh boy. Um, 
there's been tears, there's been laughter, um, there's been discussions at this table. Like we just spend so, so much time in, um, in this sunroom. But um, let's take a closer look on how I created Christmas in this sunroom. friends well that's a wrap oh my gosh wait a minute i have one more place to show you check it out check it out check it out all right well welcome to our man cave i totally forgot that this is so all decked out in christmas spirit so i definitely wanted to show you guys um this space because we also spent a lot of time down here in the basement um, in this man cave and um, I don't know if I told you guys but I'm married to like Mr. Claus <laughs> literally like he's obsessed with Christmas um, so every ounce of our home is decorated with Christmas spirit and you know what I have to say it really it's true it, it definitely brings you brings you happiness so and the grand finale is our Christmas Wonderland where we have a train set set up with vintage trains and a little Christmas village awesome enough to make anybody excited and happy for this Christmas season isn't that amazing in Christmas We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Doesn't matter if the snow is falling or the windows in the rain. I hope you guys enjoyed this home tour. Um, and I hope it inspired you to go outside and forage and bring nature inside to create that Christmas spirit in your home. Make sure, again, that you subscribe to my channel at JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle and follow me at Instagram and at Facebook at JJ Finds and Designs Lifestyle. Be healthy, be happy, and Merry Christmas.